What's up you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here and I'm back with another video. So I thought this is the first video to a new series that I created. How Anthony Anderson, he has blackish, and then we got grownish. We even got mixedish. So I thought for the culture, I should do a weebish. Welcome to the first video of my weebish series where I just show you some anime manga content type stuff. I'm showing you what I got lately in this haul from Right Stuff and Amazon. This is like the first episode or first video in this series and I hope this uh, series goes well. I know I got a lot of anime fans on my uh, YouTube so I hope you guys enjoy this series. I know I'm going to enjoy making this and I'm going through this anime journey especially with Funko Pops dying down kind of a little bit with this whole quarantine thing. I thought I might as well you know up some other collections I got like my Blu-ray collections and my manga collections so before i get into this video y'all already know what i gotta do i gotta shout out to all my returning viewers and subscribers because without y'all i wouldn't be where i'm at today and i know a lot of y'all y'all like the content that i'm putting out and i greatly appreciate that i'm glad that y'all came and I'm, i know some people they're not gonna come because this isn't, this isn't funko pop related but i appreciate everyone who has came who's sticking with me and who's just enjoying the content really so I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. Secondly, if you're a new viewer to the channel, welcome to the channel. I usually do Funko Pop content, uh, do anime content, manga content, and we talk a lot about Dragon Ball Z and weeb stuff. So if you like content like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And, and don't forget to hit that like button since you're already down there. And hit that post notification bell. That way, you know whenever I post. I don't really have a schedule when I post, so it's gonna be beneficial to you. Thirdly, don't forget to follow your boy on Instagram at Dark Sage Collections. The link for that will be in the description below. And I have a Discord for collectors and nerds all alike called Sacred Discord of the Kai. So if you want to join that, the invitation link for that for that will be in the description below as well. So let's get into it. So I got three packages. Once, well, two is from Right Stuff and one is from Amazon. Now let me show you this Amazon package. Yeah, this is a big boy, and I have been waiting to open this. I got this a few days ago, and man. This one on sale for like $126. I initially bought it for $155. It took a month for Amazon to try and get this to me. But once I saw that uh, they dropped the manga box set uh, in price to $126, canceled my order and reordered this bad boy and got my $168 back because you know it was $168 in tax. But I got my $168 back and I ordered this bad boy for $126. So let's go ahead and open it. I already got the box or the box cut. Ah! Ah! Oh, I hope I don't cut nothing valuable. You know, Amazon, they don't really package well. So, I'm just going to see how this goes. And move. Ooh, this looks way more beautiful in person. Man, this looks super dope. I have been waiting for this. In case you guys didn't know, if you're newer to the channel, I definitely love Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is my number one favorite anime of all time. Uh, you could just tell from my logo, basically. I love Dragon Ball Z. I even get my personal artist. She does commissions, too, so if you want to hit her up, her, her link will be in the description below as well. But, man, she does a great job on my artwork. She knows I love Dragon Ball Z. She knows I'm into this anime journey. She's heavy in anime, too. But, man, look at this bad boy right here. This is super dope. Now, if y'all haven't seen in one of my other previous videos of what's in the box, I did get the Dragon Ball uh, manga box set right here. But right here, I needed this to complete this collection. I also am collecting uh, Dragon Ball Super manga, but I haven't, you know, I've been slacking on that collection, honestly. But it's time to get back on it. And then plus, manga is way cheaper than Funko Pops, especially if you get them on deals and stuff like I write stuff. How they were having like 33% on off Viz media uh manga and that was a pretty dope sale but usually amazon is a great place to go to get some great manga uh sales because yeah they be having them deals let's open this bad boy up real quick i just want to open this real quick i might do a little i might do a quick quick overview of this but i super super dig this i definitely always love the artwork of dragon ball z like i said i grew up on dragon ball and dragon ball z as my favorite anime and dog look at this back this bag is super dope, guys. I just love the way the artwork is. Now, I wish this came in full color, and I know they're coming out with, like, a full color set of Dragon Ball Z, the manga. And I know they have, like, the whole, well, not the whole Freeza arc, but I know they have that, and I really want to get it, but I know they're probably not going to finish it. But, whew. Oh, yeah, I, I definitely love this. This is super dope right here, guys. Look at this manga box set right here. This is volumes 126 that goes all the way from you first meeting Goku when he's a young adult having Gohan to them defeating Kid Buu, Majin Buu, which I honestly think the Majin Buu arc is the worst arc in Dragon Ball Z, but we're not going to talk about that. We can say that for a later day, but this is super dope, guys. Let me see the poster real quick. I might do another uh, uh, review of this actual box set later on if y'all want this, but this is the double-sided poster that they have right here. Super, super dope. Frieza is one of my favorite anime villains of all time. And then we got this picture right here, which 
I get why they got these three, but I kind of wish they showed my boy Gohan a little love. I mean, that's just me though. Super dope box set. I probably could read all this in a day, knock it out, because this is way easier to read all this and to watch Dragon Ball Z. And I just love the side where you see Gohan as a young adult slash teenager, and then you see Gohan and Goku doing the father-son command man way, because I was telling people about this earlier. I feel like Gohan is the main character of Dragon Ball Z up until the Majin Buu, Buu arc. That's when he shares most of the spotlight with Goku. But I mean, obviously he shares the spotlight with Goku in a lot of the previous uh, arcs in Dragon Ball Z, but Gohan is in like most of the episodes here. He probably has like most of the screen time from the Namek saga, well, from the Saiyan saga to the Cell saga. So <sighs> that's just my thoughts. Secondly, right here, here is a little package from uh, Right Stuff Anime. And I have lately been looking at their daily deals and man, the daily deals have been looking super nice, guys. I mean, cause if y'all didn't know, I do also collect anime Blu-rays and it is a pain to get a lot of anime Blu-rays. But like I said before, guys, if you love what you if you love the things that you love, pay for them, please. Cause pirating, yeah, it's all cool and all. And I'm not gonna lie, I pirate every now and then. And if I like it, then I buy it. If not, then you know, so on and so forth. But here is the full set, the full, I mean the complete series of Soul Eater. I have not finished Soul Eater. I am on season two. I'm up to the part where uh the black stuff is in uh, Seoul and they're fighting these evil guys that made the black stuff or whatever. Like, I need to catch up on the show. I definitely need to watch the whole thing because it's only like, what, 51 episodes, I think. And that's not too long. But honestly, the show was kind of boring to me. I actually like Fire Force season one way more than I like Soul Eater season one. Y'all can kill me in the comments. I don't care. Dub Gang also. But this was getting a little boring to me. I heard the manga is way better, but... I really want the manga just to see how it is because I heard the ending on the anime and the manga are completely different and I just want to see where that goes. All right, guys, we got the last package right here. Now, I have a few things in this one because, like I said, uh, Right Stuff Anime did have a sale on some of their Viz Media manga. And, man, Viz Media manga makes some of my favorite anime slash manga. So, let's see what they got. I'm pretty sure they didn't put no good packaging in here because I, hit, I heard a lot of shake. Oh, well, I mean, they put this in here, so that's cool. They kind of racked packaged everything separately so i'm gonna put that right there first off we're gonna see what this is and if i'm hoping what this is please let it be what it is please let it be what it is okay i'm doing this mystery box style this was like a hardcover oh this feels like a hardcover this is what i think it is oh my god oh my god if you guys didn't know, JoJo is one of my newly second favorite animes. I love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I highly recommend it to anyone who's in the shonen pull-up anime. There's literally action in every single episode, and I had to get the manga just so I could read it. I just I just had to have it on hardcover. <laughs> now, I am starting the Blu-ray uh, collection, and my cousin is a very bad influence because I saw it for like $62.99 on Right Stuff Anime, but he showed me a link to the limited edition Blu-ray on Amazon for like $42.99, so... Uh, I had to cut. This was our adventure. This is the first volume in part four. This is the uh, this is when Josuke is the main character of that arc. And man, I gotta say, Jotaro with that drip. Jotaro got that drip for real. And then Josuke with that hair. Josuke get, got a little ways too. If you really look at it, he got a little ways. But I definitely love uh, Araki. Araki is super dope and he's super talented with this JoJo series. I love the artwork that's in these books. I seen some of the manga panels and man. These are outstanding. I love the way each JoJo character looks because none of them look the same at all. I mean, yeah, in part one, part two, and part three, they're all buff maniacs. But besides then, when he started slimming them down in part four and part five, super, super dope. Here's a page or a selection of the uh, manga right here. He, he got that boy Okayasu. He got that boy Josuke. I guess this is when they first met each other. Oh, yeah, this is when they first met each other because that's when Koichi just first got hit with the arrow. And this is super dope. That boy Okayasu looks like a OG right here. Oh my God. I never seen Okayasu look so. <sighs> he looks pretty good for an idiot. He looks great. And the way they got Josuke looking, oh my God. I can't wait to read this. But when, I, when it comes to me getting manga, I like to get a whole bunch of it. That way I can read a whole bunch of it at one time. I hate I hate being left on a cliffhanger after reading one, but I know I got some more coming from Amazon. I'm gonna do a later video on that because <sighs> I need some more JoJo manga in my life. Got this, I don't know what this is. We're gonna mystery box open it, even though I know what I ordered, but I hope, I, I think it's, if I think what it, I think it is what it is. What is it, guys? <laughs> it's the Yu Yu Hakusho manga. I am trying to complete my Yu Yu Hakusho manga. I only got volumes one and two right now. I got two versions, well, I got two copies of two, but right here is three. Then we got four right here. Please don't ask me which what story is in each one because obviously I haven't read it and I'm buying it. So, you know, 
and then five. Five right here, this cover looks super, super dope. I really love the cover of this. And then, I didn't know I got six, but we got six right here. I jumped up in the collection a lot. And then we got that Space Dandy. Now, a lot of people reckon, well, I asked my friends because I saw this was on sale for 30 bucks. It retails for around 50 bucks uh, in total, I think. But deal of the day, guys, like I said, go to Right Stuff Anime. Just like on GameStop, they have deal of the day. On Right Stuff Anime, they have a daily deal or whatever. Oh my God, I'm shaking the camera. It's so unprofessional. But right here, I had to get this because this is only going for $30. It's like, what, I think 24 episodes and two, 24 episodes total and two seasons total. And man, they, this, I think this is the same creator of Cowboy Bebop. I haven't watched All of Space Dandy. I've seen some of it. And my cousin earlier today that I'm recording this video told me that he tried to put me on a few years ago when I was just sleeping, just like the time he tried to put me on JoJo's, which uh, I don't really recall. So... Uh, he's just trying to claim that, you know, he put me on the GOAT anime when really one of my homeboys at work put me on the GOAT anime. But Space Dandy, I know this anime is really, really known for it being simulcasted and the English dub coming out before the actual sub in Japan, which is super dope because like I said before, guys, in plenty of videos, I am dub gang. I do not like to read when I'm watching my shows. I can't wait to watch Space Dandy. Like I said, I think it's the same creator behind uh, Cowboy Bebop. Obviously, it doesn't have the same acclaim as Cowboy Bebop, but... I can't wait to watch this show. I'm most likely not going to take it out this package because I do have Funimation. So I will be watching it on Funimation, which will be easier and quicker. But I tend to take longer watching shows when I'm watching them online than I do if I got the actual DVD or hard copy. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think because let me know if you guys are streaming some shows right now. There's some new shows I want to try out like Vinland Saga. But right now I'm trying to catch up on Hunter x Hunter because I do say it's overhyped a lot. But I heard this Chimera and Arc. I heard it's a bad boy. Right now, I'm on Greed Island, and it's cool right now. I kind of like the concept. I like kind of like this Biscuit Kruger character. I know she's in Jump Force, so I'm kind of spoiled on her character. But I'm waiting to see where this goes. And that was it for the unboxing, guys. Let me know what you thought about this first episode of Weebish. I honestly like it. I kind of want to start doing more stuff on the channel up like this. Like I said before, guys, in all my other Funko Pop videos, I want to start bringing more anime and manga content to the channel because I just don't want to be a Funko Pop collecting channel because my name isn't the Dark Sage Collects Pops. It's the Dark Sage, meaning it's going to encapsulate everything I like to do and everything I like. So it, you might get a video game video one day, get some live streams. You're going to get some collecting videos, obviously, for sure, because I want to start getting more into, like, statues. <sighs> I hate droobs. I might start getting an Android, sadly. Maybe some little bill kits uh, from my boy Funko Cop, because he does have a little deal at Mecha Warehouse. Use that code Funko Cop 10 get 10% off that order. But, man... I can't wait to really get in this, guys. Since Funko Pops is slowing down, this gives, me, this gives me time to up all my other collections. And man, I can't wait to up this manga collection and this Blu-ray collection because I got a mean Blu-ray manga collection. And I can't wait to get the bookshelf, get the figures from the front. Oh my God, it's going to be so dope. But like I said before, guys, if you're new to the channel, you like content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already. And I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace.